Look at who's a pretty bird. Who's a pretty bird? Say hi, Bobo. Say hi to YouTube. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna unbox Dread Fleet right now. Dread Fleet is a board game, and it is produced by Games Workshop, but it was released in a single release, I think it was two years ago, in 2011. So I'm here with Bobo the Parrot, the Parrot Noblar, and my lady friend. We're gonna unbox it and talk a little bit about it. You ready, Bobo? All right. So I'm gonna take off. Would you do the honors, honey? Mm -hmm. Thank you. First of all, what do you think of the artwork on the cover? Pretty. It's pretty. I mm -hmm. like it. Okay, the first thing you're gonna notice is a whole lot of stuff, but when you open the box itself, the instructions, there's no paper instructions like all of Games Workshop's other kits to tell you how, what the order is of putting everything together. All you get all around the box on all four sides, would you mind turning the box, honey? Mm -hmm. All you get are the various pirate ships and um, just really simple computer generated graphics to show you how to build each of the major pirate ships and I think that's it. They don't really show you how to do the terrain pieces. Oh yeah, they're Castle Island. Yep. And uh, yeah, there's some more pirate ships. And yeah, the rest of the pirate ships. So basically anything that needs assembling, you can kind of see what, what those look like. Now all of the pirate ships don't just come on like by themselves, but they have these bases. Just like in Warhammer, you put the figures on a base. In Dreadfleet, they have specially crafted bases that fit each of the different ships and actually look like they are crafted to look like waves on the ocean. So you can make a really good paint job to make it look like 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 the ocean. Paint it blue, give it some highlights, you like that. Cover it with a nice glossy gloss coat or <laughs> or a varnish, and it look like waves. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, I think let's move this whole box on the side and then we'll take them out sprue by sprue. Okay, so first we have all the bases, and um, we you also get round ones like these two and little s pegs which I think might be for flying anything that's flying like a dragon or something to stick up at the top. Uh, you get this counter. Please keep in mind that me and my lady friend have never seen any of this stuff before, so we have no idea what is in any of this, but we're just taking a look at the, the things for an unboxing purposes. Okay, next. Oh, yeah, anything. Uh, we've got some of the ships. What do you think of the detail on these ships? Mm, lots of it. <laughs> yeah, I think this is supposed to be like an undead sea hydra, like four-headed monster. There's another piece that connects to that, I think. This is one, one ship? Uh, I think it's a couple of different ships. There's like a castle one, and um, this one looks like it's a, a monastery or a church cathedral. Mm. Oh, this, this guy looks like a, like a giant sea, a sea giant coming out of the water, coming out of the water. <laughs> <laughs> Get off my lawn! <laughs> and, um, okay, so that's like sprue number one, I guess. More ships. It's hard to really tell, yeah, what these are until you yeah. really build them, but just looking at the detail, I mean, look at all of the little cannon sponsons and everything. It looks like they really, really spent a lot of time designing each of these to make it look like different things. Like there's here are the dragons, mm -hmm. and these look like little I don't know counters maybe, um, elementals. I think there's like a dwarf ship that kind of looks like a steam steamboat. Mm. <laughs> Bobo likes steamboats. Okay, what's next? More ships. Yeah. More ships. Okay, this one is really cool. It looks like a, uh, it's supposed to be, I think, like a, a giant sea fish. You know those fish that dwell at the bottom of the ocean with little yellow lights hanging from their heads? But it's like a giant leviathan that's been, like, 
that's decaying and it's like a big zombie carcass and um, it's like the, the outside of a ship, really gross. Mm. Bobo likes Bobo likes seafood. Bobo's hungry for seafood. He's like, mmm, that kraken. That looks delicious. And we've got a, a ghost ship that's supposed to be this one is pretty cool, honey. When you build it up, it looks like it's floating. It's it's uh, supposed to look like it's floating over the ocean. You've got a giant mechanical kraken. That's supposed to look really cool put together. It's hard to tell what all of these look like until like I said, until they're actually built. So we're just unboxing today so you know what it all looks like right out of the box a lot of sales I guess this is all the sales um, you don't have to worry about free handing for those of you who are not really into that because they're all embossed now if you would rather free hand it all you would need to do is take some sandpaper and sand off the detail <laughs> staring contest go oh I win I win you lose Bobo <laughs> And then uh, last but not least, we've got the big pieces, which are the scenery, the terrain. And these are, are much more easy, uh, easier, much easier to see what they're supposed to look like all together. Now, Games Workshop is known for having lots of skulls, motifs, and all of their things. So all of these are going to be packed with skulls. Yeah, there's another one. And um, you also get what looks like a corpse of a giant sea turtle. Skull Island, and these are supposed to be used for in the actual game itself. I think either as rulers or as turn counters or something. Not really too sure, but I, I noticed when I was watching some other videos that described how to play the game that they use these pieces. So we can also paint those up to look really good. And um, yeah, so those are all the figures that come in. Overall, I, th I think they look pretty cool, but they'll look even better once they're built up and have some paint on it. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, sorry. All right. So, is there anything else? There's got to be more. It's a little separator card in the box. Ooh. Could you open that up? It's mm -hmm. the playing board. While she's opening that up, I'll take a look at some of the other things you get. Wound cards. Uh, these look like status cards, submerged. Um, yeah, status cards right there. Boom. So we won't really go into those. Special cards here on that side. And these look like to be ship cards? No, order cards. Full speed ahead. Um, gives you rules and stuff to do. Not sure what this is. You got a, a bag of baggies. That's kind of weird. And some dice. Okay, now my lady friend is going <laughs> to... She's trying on the playing mat as if it were a sarong. So, <laughs> unlike other Warhammer games where you have to provide your own mat, and uh, some people make like boards with terrain features and stuff on it, this one actually comes with its own mat. And oh, look at this, it even has 5-2, even has like a border of like, what is this, like measurements? I don't know, what would you say? Kind of like Battleship, no? Yeah, kind of like Battleship. It gives you the, um, it gives you like, uh, coordinates. Yeah, that's a good, good way of saying it. Pretty Bobo. Bobo's staring at it. He likes it. <laughs> um, yeah, and it really looks like it's, what would you say this is? What kind of material would this be? Oh my gosh, polyester. Polyester? Yeah. But it's painted really, really nicely. It's, mm -hmm. it doesn't look at all like, a board with a grid. It has really nice highlighting mm -hmm. blues, whites, greens. greens. Yeah, it really looks like uh, a, a deep blue sea in a haunted ocean. <laughs> yeah. What's that? Oh, what is that? Look, oh, there's little things in it. Yeah, there's little things. Ooh, <laughs> spooky. Mm. <laughs> cool. Mm. <laughs> okay, that, that's really cool. So the last thing that comes in the box all sealed up is a Dread Fleet book. And I assume this has all the rules. Yep, it's got to be because on the back it's got an index. So um, let's open that up and just take a look inside. Can I borrow my hobby knife? Mm -hmm. 
we're gonna pop that open, take a look at some of the drawings and some of the rules. And my lady friend was saying that this might be easier to get into than Warhammer. What, what, why was that, you said? Uh, but, um, I don't know, I feel like there's so much to comprehend with Warhammer. Like, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't know where to begin, and this mm -hmm. is just one game in itself, and I think I can manage that for starters. Yeah, so this might be a, a better introductory, or a, a cool introductory way to get into Warhammer, the game, the world, the fiction, and all that. So, some more John Blanche artwork. Painted examples of the ships. So here's that haunted one that's floating over the ocean. Mm. Painted examples for people who are interested in painting them up and doing it to the, the heavy metal studio standard. Yeah, there's a, like I said, that one issue that really gets into the, the color schemes, what colors to use, how to dry brush. Uh, here's some assembly, a little overview of the play. These are what all the cards are going to do and what, what it might look like on the table. That looks cool. Glowy mm -hmm. eyeballs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how to arrange your cards when you're playing them. How to move your ships. Captain Bobo. <laughs> how to set up the game. And basically the rules. So we're going to get into this and see if we can figure it all out and see if this is going to be any easier to understand than regular Warhammer Fantasy. What I'd like from you guys, since this video is already running almost 12 minutes, is have you purchased this game? Have you played Dreadfleet? Have you painted the models? What have your experiences been with it? Because this is the first time either of us have opened it. I mean, I've seen some videos on YouTube when it first came out, but I have never... <laughs> Bobo! <laughs> is, that, is that a monkey? No, that's not even a thing, is it? No. No, okay. <laughs> I have never uh, played it or seen it or I, I don't have any any clue as to how this game will play. So we're going to figure it out and uh, come back and see if we can get into it. But yeah, I'd like to, I'd love to be uh, a little bit more aware. So if you guys know or have any experience with it, please feel free to leave a comment or even better, leave a video comment, video response, what you, what your experiences were, how you how you uh, got through the game, and and if it's easier, harder than Warhammer Fantasy or 40k, and if uh, yeah, just just let let us know what your what your thoughts are. I guess those are some scenarios in the back. Mm -hmm. Little summary mm -hmm. there. Is that are those just like descriptions of what parts of the ship? Anatomy of a warship. Oh, mm -hmm. I see. Very cool. So we're gonna we're gonna sign off, Bobo. Do you wanna leave the YouTube community with words of wisdom? Yep.